Hi, I'm Menke Weinreich and welcome to ICICDT 2021. We finally started the International Conference on Integrated Circuit Design and Technology, which is a global forum for engineers, scientists and students to exchange their ideas and developments on IC design and technology. We are really excited to design and realize ICICDT 2021 in this virtual format together with you. And we hope that you enjoy our live tutorials, keynotes and sessions, and above all the social program we prepared for you. Here we are now at the Fraunhofer Institute for Photonic Microsystems in Dresden, Germany, in one of our conference rooms, where the event was originally planned. And of course, I would be more than happy to welcome you in person at this place soon. So from here, we now want to start a special tour through the city of Dresden, how we would have done it at the live event. So explore the Dresden city together with our sympathetic Dresden guide, Annette. Now I want to introduce to you Annette. Hello and welcome. Hello. Annette is a tour guide in Dresden since 40 years and she's a real passionate local. So she will show you all corners you would have seen in our beautiful town. And I can only wish you a good time, have fun while experiencing the Dresden city center with her. Thank you for the introduction, Wenke. And uh, I'm Annette and I also welcome you to the ICICDT conference in 2021. And I'm happy to spend the next couple of minutes while exploring Dresden, in my hometown, but don't waste time. Let's start right away. Welcome to the town center of Dresden. And here we stay at Theatre Square, is the most famous square in the historical town center. And I stay here in front of the Opera House, the state opera house of Semper, named after its architect. He was an architect of the 19th century and he designed this building in Thai Renaissance style of Italy. But all the beauty got lost at the end of World War II, when Dresden was heavily bombed. And the whole town then there was a field of ruins, unbelievable for us today. And step by step, all the historical monuments were rebuilt in case of the opera 50 years ago. And you see, it got back its old beauty. Let's speak about music traditions here in Dresden. But before I start to speak about this topic, I have to explain in Dresden, especially the town center, one of the monuments, one of the squares is every time under refurbishment. And I think you can hear it. Back to the music traditions. Dresden's history is closely linked to famous composers who worked here in Dresden. I think on Karl Maria von Weber, Richard Wagner and Richard Strauss. Nine operas by Richard Strauss were staged here for the first time in Dresden. I think of Rosenkavalier in 1911. It was a big success. Also graced by the famous orchestra here in Dresden, the Sächsische Staatskapelle Orchestra. Its history goes back to the 16th century. And uh, perhaps you know this uh, orchestra. When they are on the tour, they are getting concerts and they like to get concerts in Asia. It's very appreciated there. However, the best thing to uh, explore it is in real life. And therefore, I invite you to come to Dresden to assist at a star-studded opera, ballet or concert in the next time. And now I have just mentioned the Swinger building. It belongs to the Swinger complex. It's a much larger complex. Let's move there at next. Now we are on the Swinger and here from the roofs of the galleries, we enjoy a wonderful view down to this uh, place, which was laid on by our Augustus Strong. Everybody who is staying here on the galleries and looking down is thinking on a castle where the Saxon kings lived. Not at all. 
it was laid on to be used as a place for receptions and festivities. Augustus' strong impressed European nobility not only with his buildings here in his residence, buildings which are still existing up to our days and characterize the town. No, Augustus is strong, he impressed also the female gender. And also when the story of his 365 children belongs to the realm of a legend, he was a very intelligent and a very well-built man. Just like the demigod Hercules, who he liked to compare himself to. And imagine you, he was self-confident enough to stay as a model for the sculpture of the Hercules, which you see on top of the pavilion, made by the famous sculptor Permosa. There's more to explore about the Swinger and therefore we stay here in this immense fairground, which has a size of two football fields. Yeah, and here, in the time of Augustus the Strong, he was also king of Poland. His receptions of statement from all Europe took place and here he got his festivities. For example, in 1719, it was the date of the marriage of his son with the Archduchess Maria Josepha of the Habsburg family. And this festivity took four weeks and unbelievable. It cost six million thalers in a time when a carpenter earned 70 thalers a year. And when this area was used in the time of Augustus the Strong as an outdoor area, then it houses today world famous art collections. Here in the Semper building, you find our painting gallery of the Woodmasters with the famous Sistine Madonna by Raphael, but also works from Rubens, Rembrandt, Dürer, as well Cranach can be seen here. Nearby is our porcelain collection. Thanks by the so-called Malady de Porcelain of our Augustus the Strong, we possess one of the best Asian porcelain collections worldwide. And if all is of less of your interest, I recommend you to visit our collection of technical scientific equipment. It's named Mathematischer Physikalischer Salon. And there you find burning glasses, there you find clockworks, of which some, some clockworks more than 400 years old. And now, look behind me. Do you see the top of the residential palace? Let's move there. It will be the next in our tour. And now we enjoy a wonderful view to the residential palace of Dresden, where the Saxon rulers now really lived and ruled and collected artifacts. And there is a famous green vault, which houses masterpieces in gold and silver, in ivory and in amber even in cherry stone of 185 different human faces which were carved on the surface 400 years ago. And there you find also jewel sets. Augustus possessed 10 of which 8 are still existing and in hunting season he preferred to wear his shimmering emerald set soon on white velvet costume. Other art collections, museums were thing in the palace altogether eight more are, uh, for example, the costume collection where you see festive dresses for the noblemen and ladies, sometimes 400 years old, and uh, accessories for nightly tournaments can be seen in two collections. It's a spectacular Ottoman collection of uh, Turkish chamber as well a giant hall and there you see armory for horse and riders, sharp lenses and so on. A very special place for such tournaments we have got at the palace. It's a Stallhof, the stable yard. And here we are in the stable courtyard, the Stallhof of the residential palace, which we have seen some minutes before from the other side. 
And here you see the top of the Hausmann's Tower. It was a favorite place of the guard in the medieval age, whereas is today a favorite destination for our tourists. So they like to climb on the tower to enjoy nice views to the whole town center. And this is where the princely tournaments were held here in this courtyard. Horsemen in armor with a lance, they had to go along this racehorse up to the columns. Between the columns there was the rope. On the rope were rings and the horsemen had to pick up the rings during their gallop. So they did it for the favor of the ladies. The ladies were here on the left side and they had an eye on their favorite knight horse rider. And the riders has to pick up a lot of rings. More rings, more favor by the ladies. Today, the artists compete for the favor of the spectators during classical concerts, which take place here in summertime. Recently, we had concerts of our annual festival of classical music, Dresden Festival Music, and concerts took place here. In winter, this place is a very nice setting for a medieval Christmas market, which is a favorite of the local as well for the guests of Dresden. And now, I would like to show you a different thing, a very nice decoration outside of this courtyard. And this is the special wall decoration of the stable yard of the Stallhof. And you see here an approximately 100 meter long wall mosaic made of tiles of mice and porcelain on which can be seen 34 relatives of our elector Augustus the Strong. You see himself just behind me is mentioned under the name Augustus II and the family of Vettin, Augustus was and prince of this family celebrated at the end of the 19th century its 800th anniversary. It's unbelievable that they were in power in this long time. And to commemorate on this uh, anniversary, this wall decoration was made of mice and porcelain, I told you. I think you know, first porcelain worldwide came from Asia, from China. But in 1708, a local team succeeded in finding the secret of porcelain making here in Europe. And two years later, in 1710, the first manufacture was established in Meissen. And since 1710, they have produced there the European porcelain. Porcelain is not the only invention which was made here in Dresden. I think of condensed milk, the coffee filter and milk chocolate was made for the first time here in Dresden. And uh, perhaps you eat a piece of milk chocolate together with a cup of good coffee during your virtual coffee break, networking with the other participants of the conference. We hope you enjoy it. To the other end of the Duke's procession, you see a church at the cathedral, which I have just mentioned at the beginning of the tour. It was built for Augustus the Strong. Do you remember? He is king of Poland, and therefore this church was built for him. After his death, he was laid to rest in the crypt in a silver urn, only his heart, and the bones rest in the marble in Krakow. On the other side of the mosaic, you see the Lutheran Church of Our Lady, Frauenkirche, with its striking stone dome, which is, uh, along with the swinger, the landmark of the city of Dresden. And now you see the entire structure of the Baroque building of the Church of Our Lady, with its stone dome which has a weight of 12,000 tons and which dominates this square, which is the new market, Neumarkt Square. But the church was heavily bombed at the end of World War II and only a fragment stayed here at the square. And you must know when the dome exploited, everything was buried under the masses of the rock. After political change, after the fall of the wall, the dream of reconstruction of the church in historical appearance came true. 
and therefore it was rebuilt. And now you have a different view of the New Market Square and this wonderful splendid church. And perhaps after attending at a concert in this bright church, you look for a good restaurant to have a good glass of beer or of wine. Here you will have a lot of choice of tasty restaurants, boutiques, art galleries, flats can be found in this newly built housing complexes. Unbelievable, all the complexes were built after the political change. It means although the houses were destroyed in World War II and must be rebuilt. And you see, a lot of people here, they enjoy it, locals as well guests. And now we stay here on top of the Brühl Terrace, Brühlsche Terrasse. This old town wall, which belonged to the fortification buildings of medieval age. And here, just behind me, you see the buildings of the High School of Applied Arts. In the 18th century, on the spot was uh, the living place of the Prime Minister of the Son of Augustus the Strong, Brühl. He gave his name to this terrace. And also, he was a great lover of the art. He collected paintings which were on display in his painting gallery, which was once here on the terrace. Yeah, and when you look just behind me, you see this fantastic town silhouette, which we have seen just some minutes before during our tour. Look down, there you see the landing points of our local ship company. And here you start your boat trip upstream to a little mountain area named Saxon Switzerland. And uh, yeah, if you take the boat to the other side, to the other direction, you reach Meissen with its vineyard. It's the center of a wine growing area. We are famous for our white wine production. When you come next time, you must taste this local wine. And you see here everywhere, both on the banks of the river, on the river itself, a lot of opportunities for leisurely time. If you are a young, an old one, a family, a single, for everybody, we could offer something here in the Elbe Valley. At the end of our tour, we offer you the best view of Dresden. Look over the river and you see a famous town silhouette, so-called Canaletto Blick. Canaletto was court painter in the mid of the 18th century here in Dresden. And he fixed the best town silhouettes of Dresden on linen in his paintings. We wish you now for the interesting lectures and a good exchange with other participants of the Congress. And we hope, of course, that you have enjoyed this tour here in Dresden. And we say thank you very much and goodbye. Yours, Annette. Bye.